good morning students today we will discuss spectra of helium atom as well as spectra of mercury atom so first of all i will discuss spectra of helium atom as you know the atomic number of helium atom is 2 and electronic configuration is 1s2 that is two electrons are lying in first shell so the first shell become the ground state for helium atom and second third fourth and so on all shells act as excited states for helium atom so we will discuss this ground state and excited states in detail in the further slide we know that spectra is produced when there is transition of electron from one shell to another shell so we have to define different states or different shells from where electron can jump and energy is emitted that energy is called spectra so this is the case of helium spectra that is two electron spectra we know that helium has two 1s electrons because both electrons are lying in 1s state that is called ground state and hence it is also called equivalent electron electrons so ls coupling effect is applicable in this case so i have divided the spectra the discussion of the spectra on the basis of three parts first one is both electrons are lying in ground state second case one electron is in ground state and other electron is in excited state and their state is ns state s state and third one one electron is lying in ground state and other electron lying in excited state but their state is np state so it is s state it is p state and in in the first case both are lying in same state so first of all we will discuss the ground state this we know we know that the spectrum relations are 2s plus 1 lj so we have to find the different spectral notations and spectral lines according to this formula in ground state means both electrons are lying in ground state so l1 is 0 l2 is 0 and spins are anti parallel because you know that when both electrons are lying in the same shell then they possess opposite spins because uh, two electrons can never have same type of spins lying in the same state so s1 is half s2 is minus half and when we add both s become zero and when we add l values l become zero so these are l and s values so when we add l and s we will get j values that is j is zero and hence the state is represented by 1s0 that is by putting the value of s0 here l is 0 that is s and j is 0 so this so first this value of this become 1 and l l means 0 0 is s state so it is written by s state and j value is 0 so this is called 1s0 spectral line or spectral notation so we find that the ground state of helium is singlet state singlet means single state next when one electron is lying in ground state other electron in ns state that is called helium atom is excited means one electron is is in excited state so in this case when one electron is ground state ground means first shell excited state means second shell the second state so l1 is 0 l2 is 0 and hence l become l1 plus l2 that is 0 so when l1 0 s1 is half l2 0 s1 again half so here s values are same plus half plus half because the l values are different l1 l2 because first electron lying in ground state and second electron lying in ns state excited state so net when we add these values we will get 1 so net s value become 1 and if we subtract then value is 0 so there are two s values 
So when we put these values uh, in calculating j, so j is 0 and 1. That is L plus s or L minus s. Ultimately, we will get two j values, 0 and 1. So for j0 value, the term is 1s0. By putting L, S and J value in this equation, we will get 1 is 0. And similarly, when we put the value of L0, S1 and J1 in this formula, we will get 3S1, that is triplet state. So 1S0 is called singular state and 3S0 is called, 3S1 is called triplet state. So singlet and triplet, two states are there two types of states are there. Similarly, in third case, when helium atom is excited, that is, one electron is in ground state and other electron is in excited state, that is NP state, P. So, L1 is 0, L2 1, because P, for P, L2 is 1. So, L become 1 by adding both. And hence, and also, S1 half, S2 half, and s become 1 and 0 by adding and by subtracting. And when you put, we join L and s, that is ls coupling, then j values become 1 and 2, 1, 0. Means 1 and 2, 1, 0, 3 and plus 1, 4. There are 4 total j values. For one state, one j state, by putting these values in this equation, we will get 1 p1, that is called singular state. And putting this j value 2, 1, 0 alternatively and we will get 3p0, 3p1, 3p2 that is 3p0, 1, 2 triplet state. Now we will draw these spectral notations as uh, energy levels according to these spectral lines in the next slide that is. The singlet state is also called perihelium and triplet state is also called orthohelium. So there are two different types of spectra we will study. In perihelium, that is singular state, singular means there is one, 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 one. So for S substates, these are one S0, these lines are one S0 and these lines are one P1 and these are one D2. Similarly, in orthohelium or triplet state, that is 3s1, 3p012 and 3d123, basically these are 3 values, 3 values. So these, the states in 1s0, that is 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, that is all uh, shells, the s states of all shells. Similarly, p states of all shells, we know that in the first shell, there is no p value. In the second, there is p value. So, 2s and 2p, 3s and 3p, 4s and 4p. And p, you, uh, you see in the diagram, p states are just above the s states because the energy of p states is slightly more than s states. So, these are lying just above the s states. Similarly, d states are just above the p states. So, uh, as we know, the second shell don't have D substrate. So D substrate start from third because third SPD. In fourth SPD. When in second only S and P are possible. In first only S is possible. So these are the different lines I have shown. Energy levels. Sorry. Similarly, in orthohelium, the energy levels are 2S, 3S and 4S. 2p, 3p, 4p and 3d and 4d. So these are the different energy levels on the basis of LS coupling. Now the transition of electron is possible according to selection rules. We know that the selection rules are delta uh, n or delta ml, mj, 0 and plus minus 1. So the electron can jump from S state to P state this and this S to P state. So difference between S and P that is one difference is one. one. Similarly, 
P2S and P2S. These states are uh, these uh, transitions are possible according to selection rules. So in this way, the energy emitted during that transition is called helium spectra. That is para helium spectra. And in this case, the energy emitted during the transition of these energy states, uh, these electrons, and is called ortho helium spectra or spectra of ortho helium. So it is of two types. para and ortho helium spectra now similarly we will study mercury spectra we know that mercury has atomic number 80 that is that is 80 if we write its electronic configuration it is like this 1s2 2s2 2p6 and so on and last 6s2 4s2 14 5d 10 so in the last if you see in the in this configuration the last shell is 6 6s and also it can be written as xenon means xenon up to here it is xenon and after that 4f14 5d10 and 6s2 that is 4d uh 4f sorry and 5d and 6s last three this is and before it it is uh, ec of xenon atom so it may write it as xenon into this so free from this configuration it has been observed that the last electron enters in the present in the six shell so we have again similarly as like as uh, helium spectra so this is the energy levels energy states of mercury atom this is 6s it is 6p and 7s and 6d and this is 6 as second state p state so if we study in detail so this is the allowed states and allowed transitions during which by which the spectrum is produced the spectrum is called mercury spectrum so this is 1s and 1p so one this first one one these stand for singlet states and 3 3 3 and 3 3 these are triplet states so this is triplet state region and it is singlet state region so when electron jump from this state to this state that is 1p1 state to 1s0 state then the light emitted during the transition is of this wavelength this wavelength is given here So this spectra is also mercury spectra, and in the same way, P has three values: three P zero, three P one, and three P two. As we have studied these P values, the P spectral lines in uh, helium spectra. So these three different values, and these are D values. So the transitions, different transitions, which are possible according to selection rules, are shown here. and the light emitted during the transition is also written in this spectra so in this way the spectral lines or spectra produced by the transition of electrons from different states according to selection rules is called helium atom spectra so this is all about mercury and helium atom spectra thank you very much